or good afternoon. Um, I hope you're well. We've uh, just come out, well, we haven't come out of lockdown, but we've got, um, today is the first day where the kids are back at school. And, well, our numbers are coming down anyway, so hopefully uh, further restrictions will lift as uh, as the months, as the coming months go. But um, I'm having a great day today because normally I'm a, a dad and a teacher um, during this lockdown homeschooling and all that so I've been uh, pretty up to my neck in it and not been able to get out too much um, so today I had to I had to uh, I was able to get out um, I also had to go up and get some fence panels my fence blew down so I've been fixing that up um, but I, as I came back I was passing this wonderful bit of Epping Forest and I thought it's, uh, I can't, it's an opportunity I can't let go so I came out into the woods and um, I haven't been here for quite a few months I mean I go to my local woods um, but they're very busy really you know crowded and so, so on so um, wildlife photography and just observing and enjoying nature and wildlife is really quite difficult when there are so many people out um, but here, in this bit of woodland, um, I've seen about three people in the last two hours. So that's just how I like it. Perfect uh, for being able to listen to the birds and see things. And um, so I, I got out of the car, packed, p packed my stuff in my rucksack, and um, thought I'll go out and see if I can uh, see a bit of wildlife. And, and within five minutes of getting out of the car I saw this lovely group of uh, female fallow deer um, with with young and um, I everything was packed away but I was they, they'd actually seen me they they saw me before I saw them um, but I was I was very quiet and I just sort of slowly sank down to the ground and then tried to unzip my bag and get my get my camera out as quietly as possible lying uh, flat on the ground um, got a bit uh, got a bit damp doing that but um lay there for a good few uh, few minutes and then was able to get a couple of photos and a little bit of uh, a little bit of video but just being being uh, able to get out and see deer so so uh, quickly wild deer here in uh, epping forest wild fallow deer um, was just a real treat for me so i'm having i'm having a lovely day today um, just just even if I saw nothing at all just for me anyway just being out being out somewhere quiet and uh, in the woods with the trees and uh, it's just, I mean it's it's not even um, it's not it's it's brighter than it's been in the last couple of months obviously northern hemisphere the sun is getting higher as we as we roll through March but um, there's a bit more light and uh, there are little signs here and there. I was out uh, yesterday or the day before uh, taking some photos in my local woodland and, uh, and start to see um, buds coming on the trees. I saw a, a hawthorn in, in bloom. Um, some, some broom has got little new shoots on it. I've been checking the ponds here and uh, I do have a pond in my garden. I was just checking that to, to see if there are any uh, signs of um, amphibians this is the time of year when uh, amphibians turn to love and uh, and you can uh, find uh, frog and toads born in the in the water well in the ne next few weeks we'll start to see um, frog and toads born in the water so uh, it's a it's a lovely time of year that sort of cusp of winter turning round to spring um, and of course for photography you you do need you do need some light and uh, uh, low cloud uh, in in, uh, in December and January. Uh, low thick cloud really makes photography a challenge, especially um, you know where you're using a longer lens and you have to use uh, with longer lenses. Obviously, you have to use uh, faster shutter speed, so light is really critical. You can't do um, you can't photograph birds and things with uh, uh, long slow shutter speeds. So. Um, so uh, yeah, so it's all it's all looking good, but uh, that was a wonderful, 
wonderful treat for me this morning. Not only did I get out into the woods, but also had, uh, had a lovely uh, f half hour probably with, um, with fallow deer. So lovely. Um, and I just stopped here because I could hear some uh, great spotted woodpecker uh, calling to each other from the different trees up here. Um, I think this is a time of year when they get territorial and start to uh, start getting a bit competitive for um, the attentions of uh, partners, potential partners for the uh, season. So um, I hope to uh, hope to catch up with them and possibly get a photo or two uh, later. Um, yeah, so. Epping Forest in the uh, in March, so um, yeah, there's a bit of, there is cloud, but uh, it's quite high, so there is a certain amount of light, enough to work with anyway as a photographer. So um, yeah, great. So let's see what else we can find. <laughs> mm. This is what you call a log. What a lovely day. <laughs> it's been a lovely day here in the woods. It's fairly mild today, which is really nice because um, it's, uh, it's quite strange being out and not not being cold at all. <laughs> and uh, sign of things to come for the new season, I guess. Um, let's see what we've got in here as a by way of a little snack. Ooh, what do you think? Right, so. Yeah, so um, had some good views of uh, woodpecker, robin, tits, nuthatch. I took a couple of pictures of a nuthatch, but um, it was quite distant. But I still like to take a picture just to sort of uh, just to prove I've seen it, you know. And uh, yeah, a lot of um, magpies and crows. Um, colt it um, yeah lovely lovely and still here in the forest cheers I was in the forest the other day near me and um, I heard a tawny owl hooting uh, during the daytime and um, I'm not sure I've really heard that before anyway I went back a few days later and I heard it again went to the same spot and heard it again it's very dense um, very dense trees so the chances of actually spotting it I think will be virtually zero but um, and it's not calling all, often enough to kind of get the exact location um, so you have to sort of wait about half an hour between calls um, I've often heard them at night or in the evening but not in the middle of the afternoon um, which I think is interesting so um, I don't know if any of you know why or whether that's normal for tawny owls to to call during the daytime Um, so, uh, yeah, if you do know, let me know. Um, I wonder what it's... Uh, I think one of my little ideas is to come into the forest in the middle of the night and come with uh, sound recording equipment and see what I can, uh, what I can capture. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you uh, enjoyed 
this little walk in the forest, coming with me and seeing uh, just fumbling about in the forest. <laughs> and um, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, see you next time. Bye.